What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm still out here in Asheville, North Carolina, getting the job done because guess what? This is the national media drive event for this vehicle right here. It's the all new 2024 Chevrolet Trax. This particular one is right in the sweet spot of their lineup. It's known as the LT. But before we get into this smaller size, redesigned, reimagined Chevrolet Trax, let's talk about what's going on here. The Trax. It really hasn't gotten the love that Chevrolet thought that it deserved. So what they did was they went back to the drawing board, they came back with a redesign, and they wanted to give people more for their harder money. Not only more features, but also just more crossover SUV. With this track, we're talking about it's a little bit longer, wider, and definitely mature in a very good way over the previous gem. But you know what? There's a lot of competition. You got the Kia Seltos, you got the Mazda CX-30, the Nissan Juke, the list goes on and on and on, the Hyundai Kona, the Kia uh, Sportage. I mean, there's so many different ones going on. What I want to find out is, is this the best for the price? When you're looking for a crossover, a small crossover SUV, does this give you the best for the price? Let's go ahead, let's dive into our tracks and find out. Right off the bat, the shape. That's the first thing that catches your eyes. And another thing that I like is how they did the lighting. So you're gonna have that LED daytime running lamp up top and you are getting projector beam LED headlights on the LT trim. So you don't have to go all the way to the top, which is the active trim or the 2RS. So kind of nice to have that lighting technology. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, I used to not like this split light setup, but I think Chevrolet has done a great job, just like some other brands, with really creating a nice visual for their design across their lineup. And definitely you could see that with this tracks. Now, as we come across the front, what you're gonna find is each different trim is gonna have some different finishes. So when you go LT, you're gonna get the chrome trim in the center, with that gold bow tie that's been around for decades. And then you'll notice we have some flat black functionality up top. Then you're gonna have color mesh. And then I like the way they did functionality in the lower grille opening with this flat silver. This really is a unique way to separate the LT trim from the rest. Now, when you get up onto the hood, same exact hood, no matter what trim you go with. And it looks bold enough without being too over the top. Now, when we go around the bend, what about wheels and tires? Lots of different sizes we can go. Here's what you're getting when you go LT. So you're gonna get machine aluminum with this gunmetal metallic gray finish, 17 inch wheel, and you're looking at a 225 on the width tire, 50 series sidewall. If you go base trim, which is the LS, that comes with steel wheels and hubcaps. So that's where we're seeing the difference between something like the LT and the LS. If you want a bigger wheel, go active, go 2RS, and you get an 18 inch wheel. Everything from the side is exactly the same. Let me know if you think that's a good thing or a bad thing, depending on the trims. The only thing that's gonna be different is obviously the design of the tire and the wheel. Now, when we come down the side, you're getting color match on the mirror caps with some flat black. We do have flat black raised roof rails. You could get your crossbars to do your active lifestyle, whether you're a mountain biker, whether you're a kayaker, a canoeer, or somebody that likes to drive around with that stuff on their roof to show people that you are active. And maybe you never ride a bike. I have no idea. To each their own. Color matched on the door handles. You have the flat black, which makes a nice cohesive design all the way around. And then as we work towards our rear, here's where we're gonna see some of that great look. A nice width to it. And one thing you'll notice, if you look closely, it's hard to see on the black, but you have this nice body line on each corner of the rear that gives it some real, like I said, substance. Even a nice long roof spoiler. I'm still zonking that antenna on all the trims, especially in LT. And then working our way down, you do have some bright silver across the back. And what you'll also notice is they did a fake vent. That, the fake vent's gotta go. So that's 
definitely a zonk. But the great news is each trim has a different lower bumper area. But why don't we go ahead, let's get underneath the hood and talk power of this LT trim of the Trax. All right, guys, there's that old letter system, KSS. What the heck does that stand for? Keep it simple, stupid. Well, guess what? They kept it very simple in a smart way on this Chevrolet Trax. One engine, one transmission, that's it. 1.2 liter turbocharged inline three, producing 137 horsepower, 162 pound-feet of torque. It is front wheel drive only, so no all wheel drive. Zero to 60 in about nine seconds. Where you're gonna really have a smile is MPGs. 28 in the city, 32 on the highway, and the vehicle weighs around 4,000 pounds. So nice to see this Trax kind of grow up in size. I'm sure some of you feel that the engine should have grown up in size. Let me know how you feel about the 1.2 liter turbocharged three. But why don't we go ahead, let's go ahead and jump inside and see what this Trax is bringing. All right, guys, we're inside the new Trax for 2024. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I have a decision I need to make. Uh, my daughter has said that if I buy her a car since she graduated from college, she will finally move out at the age of 32. So she loves this Trax. I got to know how much it is because I told her I'm not spending a ton of money to get her out of the house, even though she's costing me a ton of money living in the house. So what's the price? MSRP for this particular one, $23,400, if you could believe that. It's time to get her out of the house, but it's also time to do what? To the door panels. Like the way they have the two-tone style going up. Now, I am gonna zonk the harder plastic up top, and that's across all the trims, unfortunately, but I do like the way they did that gray finish with the neon yellow stitching. You have some gunmetal gray texturized by the window switch gear, no gloss black, and a door pocket that's big enough for two North Carolina fried chicken drumsticks and a bottle of root beer to wash it down. Now, going from the door panel to the dash, let me know how you feel about the neon color in here. I think it gives a little bit of pop, especially with the black exterior. You can see the nice creative design that they're using, not only on the center, but also on top of the dash. And then the great news is, even though you're not in the top trim, you're still getting that 11.3 inch touchscreen capability. As you can see, I've turned on the recirculating. You got wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, and a Wi-Fi hotspot that is really nice. And then you're right back where you started. AC vents blended in clean. You do have your standard AC controls, but I like the digital readouts. And then you do also have three stages of heated seats and a place for a 12 volt, USB-C, USB-A, and we have a Twinkie storage area, seven Twinkies. Lucky number seven, don't do eight because you're gonna bust cream all over yourself. Two cup holders, this is gonna control that six speed automatic transmission. You got a place, perfect size, for your pet frog named Kermit. Even though you stole that name from Jim Hansen, you could put your frog there. So the Pilgrims landed on Plymouth Rock. This is as hard as Plymouth Rock, so not my favorite armrest, but the great news is, is that you have plenty of storage. You could easily put, I would say, 38 and a half Pop-Tarts in there. And then of course we have our key fob. Flip it around, remote start, put it back in, close it up, seats. You got some leather style material and some cloth. I'm digging the design, the colors, manual adjustment for the passenger and manual adjustment for the driver and no sunroof. But like I said, $23,400 gets you this tracks, which means you get your daughter out of the house. But why don't you come over here behind the leather wrap steering wheel. Yes, leather wrap steering wheel in the LT tracks. Come All on. Right, guys, business time behind the wheel. Incredible the amount of room you have. There's your seat controls. They're actually easy to figure out. So that's the good news about the manual seat controls, but lots of room, seats are comfy. Steering wheel, like I said, that leather all the way around, nice stitching. I like the way you have the consistent gold bow tie, the Chevrolet bow tie. You do have a heated steering wheel, which is really nice. 
flat black on all the buttons, manual tilting telescoping steering wheel, and then of course that nice eight inch digital display. Look at the way it's got the tachometer that lights up. Pretty cool to have nice clean graphics like that. And I think that's what's gonna help even bring the value more to the Chevrolet Trax. But let's get into the back seat and see how much room is back there for your daughter's friends in the new Trax. Hey guys, back seat time and just like up front, tons of room in the back seat area. Now there are no pockets. So if you have your North Carolina calzone, and if you're wondering what the hell's a North Carolina calzone, that's where they actually use uh, venison in the calzone rather than pepperoni. You have no place to put it behind the seat. You're gonna have to put it in between your legs and God forbid you squeeze your legs too tight, you're gonna get hot mozzarella right in that area that's not gonna feel good. But what is gonna feel good is you have a place to charge your phone, USB-C, USB-A, and a Twinkie storage area. Six Twinkies easily fit back here. Look how flat the rear floor is. And this isn't an EV. So nice the way, super flat, comfortable seats. I guess the other zonk is there's no center armrest. But like I said, $23,000, $400, buy your daughter a center armrest just to stick back here, just to shut her up. But while we go ahead, let's get in the cargo area because remember, she's moving out. We need to see how much room we have for all our junk in the trunk area of this track. All right, guys, time to get in the cargo area. Hit the button. No electric lift, but not a big deal. When you get to the cargo area, this is where you're going to be very pleasantly surprised. You're looking at more cargo room than the previous gen. You're looking at, with the seats up, 25.6 cubic feet of space. Fold the seats down, 54.1 cubic feet of space. What you could put is a Teddy Ruxpin, actual on the side here, on the driver's side, and then his little partner, which was a Caterpillar, I think his name was like Grubby or something like that, can go on the passenger side. Let me know if you know Teddy Ruxpin's best friend's name, the Caterpillar, let me know in that comment section. You do have a nice full-size setup on the spare, and then you also have that 60-40 split. It's not just a single back, it's a 60-40 split on the rear seats, but you know what? We don't have the top trim, we got an LT. Let's go ahead, see how it drives, and hit the road. All right, guys, here we are. We're in the 2024 Chevrolet Trax, and you know what? Right away, I just love the amount of room that we have here. It really allows it to be very spacious and just feel more comfortable than the previous generation, which I really love. The other great thing is that the digital gauge cluster, the infotainment system, so easy to operate, so easy to figure out. All right, guys, pulling away from the light, what I like about the vehicle is that there's, there's no different modes. So you just fire it up, and you're off and you're driving, you get comfy in your seat, steering wheel, the material, it feels nice, especially, remember, we gotta remember, compare apples to apples for the money, lots of nice finishes in here. Easy to get to the AC controls, the infotainment system, and the fact that you have three stages of heated seats and a heated steering wheel is a nice, pleasant welcome. And then, of course, at the end of the day, like I was saying, that great fuel economy. But the chassis work that they've done with this new platform, the suspension, they really work to fine tune the driving experience to make it a little bit more fun and sporty to drive, even though we have a three cylinder turbocharged engine. I think the biggest thing that many people need to do is get behind the wheel of this vehicle and drive it. You do have your blind spot monitoring. You do have uh, your emergency brake assist, which is really nice. And then, like I said, let's see how on throttle goes. On throttle. It actually feels peppier than what the numbers say, if that means anything to you. But you have a real six speed automatic transmission. You don't have to worry about a CVT. Visibility is great in here. Um, it's just, there's a couple things that I would like to see change, but like I said, at the price point, you gotta remember what we're working with. And I think that Chevrolet is working with a lot here in this new Trax. All right, guys, we are inside this 2024 Chevrolet Trax Active, and right away, it's a totally different vehicle. 
nothing has been brought over from the previous generation, and it feels exactly that way. I mean, getting to that massive 11.3 inch infotainment system screen is very easy. And then reading the digital instrumentation at a quick glance is a one, two, three affair. And visibility is fantastic in here for a smaller crossover SUV, especially with things like the blind spot monitoring and emergency brake assist, which is great. But having a six speed automatic transmission to me is something that definitely is a huge plus for the tracks over the competition. And then the seats, very supportive. The leather style material is really, really just gives it a nice overall feel to it where it feels like it should be more expensive. And I do have to applaud Chevrolet for making this vehicle at the price point that they did. It's, it's quite stupendous when you think about how prices of other vehicles are really, really skyrocketing. But going down the road, very, very smooth. Not, even though it's a sporty style, it's not a style of vehicle that's gonna beat you up, which is great. And then just the way everything is laid out, it makes sense. The wireless charging is easy to get to. You have, of course, all the storage compartments. And I think your passengers are gonna really enjoy having the extra room in the back. And then you can't deny the lane keep assist. That's another nice safety feature to have in there. But we're gonna show you the on throttle experience in this tracks. Not that you're gonna go race anybody, but just so you have an idea of how this vehicle does what it does. So I'm gonna come to a complete stop here no paddles to shift, but we're gonna drive on throttle anyways. On throttle, here we go. Breaking uh, traction just a little bit, but this is a good road to kind of show some of that dynamic between the automatic transmission and the front wheel drive setup of this turbocharged inline three. But I think that thing that you're really going to like is how the new chassis really provides some good feedback, not only through the steering wheel, but also through the seat. And it's just very composed, which I think is going to be a pleasant surprise, especially compared to the previous generation. It just feels like you're getting more tracks for either the same amount or less money, which is Kind of crazy, but I'm really digging this road to kind of allow us to see how the front wheel drive setup is in this vehicle. And it's just one of those things that I think if you want the style, you want something new, something fresh, it's got the tech that you want. The screen size I think is, is totally palatable instead of being some 42 inch screen. I think that this is gonna check off a lot of boxes for people that are looking for that daily driver that has that extra feel to it that's gonna make them feel good and also provide big value. Let's see how this vehicle handles. Remember, it's front wheel drive, but like I said, the chassis work is there. You go on throttle and it's got nice smooth shift action from the six speed. We're going over a little bumpier road just to kind of show you the suspension travel and how it absorbs well into the chassis. But pleasantly surprised with what you're getting, especially for the money. But we have come to a dead end and we need to wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. It's been another great day in every way here in North Carolina. Definitely got to thank the whole Chevrolet team for getting us access not only to their top trims, of the tracks, but also this LT. Let me know what you think. Is this the best bang for your buck? If you're looking for this type of vehicle, let me know in that comment section. But if you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. Of course, we need to give it up to the man 
who he basically tracks across the country trying to track down videos and vehicles for us to capture. So thanks, Stephen, in that comment section. I appreciate everything that you do, Stephen. Of course, Stephen Flood Photography. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.